a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video when it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk on as it be. If today not the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for our massive support to this channel i say may god bless all of you now in jesus name amen i get video away i want to present to una this very moment and i'm going to follow now they watch the video after we don't watch them together make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now the killing of deborah has vindicated me and many dear friends even all the people that you are following. I think who are back today. He is saying, oh, Igbo people cannot be president. They are fighting for the Republic of Biafra. They should leave Nigeria president. Say, Lord, you know that they are fighting for Biafra, yet you want them to be part of the 2023 election. You are telling them they cannot be in the Igbo, cannot be part of the, they cannot rule Nigeria because they are fighting for Biafra, yet, you are dragging them to vote in 2023. So, I want every one of you to understand the danger we are into. Now, I was explaining about the dangerous diversity. I didn't conclude. Now, let me conclude about what I mean by dangerous diversity. The example of dangerous diversity has actually happened. In the case of Deborah, Deborah was in the class with other Muslim students. Deborah is a Christian or was a Christian. Why in, in her class, the people that killed her was her classmate. And then she started making comment about Jesus Christ. And they don't like it. And the thing started flying on, on a WhatsApp group and all that. And then they decided to kill her for blasphemy. Now, I want to ask you a question. How do you kill Deborah for blasphemy? Is she a Muslim? Is Deborah Samuel a Muslim? Do you see the dangerous diversity? You cannot kill a Christian for blasphemy because he, she does not believe in your faith. The only time you can kill somebody for blasphemy, for blasphemy is when the person is a member of your religious organization. So why do you kill somebody for blasphemy who does not believe in your religion? Is a question I want to ask to every Nigerian who are justifying the killing of Deborah as a result of blasphemy. How do you call it blasphemy? When the person do not believe in your faith. Blasphemy only come to the existence when the person in question believe in what you believe in. It becomes a blasphemy. You cannot bring a, a, a Muslim and to, you know, to do something against Christianity, which we know what is blasphemy. And then you come to say, oh, this Muslim man is committing blasphemy against Christian. You can't you can say that because he doesn't know what is blasphemy in Christian religion. The people that you are going to uh, punish for breaching your own christian doctrine and the, or your own religious doctrine are the people that believe in the same religion like you so the blasphemy does not apply in the case of deborah because deborah is not a muslim but do you know why they have to kill her 
And do you know why? The northern cabals and the caliphate, including the presidency and everybody, is justifying the killing. Is to show you that their own religion is superior. Is superior. Is to show you that what you have is a dangerous diversity. A dangerous diversity that could not differentiate who is their own member and when their own member commit a crime of blasphemy. So is it as I am now? You will say I have committed a blasphemy against a, a Muslim when I'm not a Muslim person? No! It is only the Muslims who knew what is the blasphemy in the Muslim religion, in the Islamic religion. They are the people that when they commit blasphemy, the law, the Islamic law is applicable to them. So I want you to understand that Deborah cannot be tried under Islamic law because she was a Christian. So why did you kill her? Using Islamic doctrine. Do you see the incongruousness in Nigeria? Do you see the reason why we must break away? Do you see the reason why we cannot be part of Nigeria anymore? That is why I am waiting for any day anybody will contact me for anything. Especially all these journalists. Come. I am, I am calling on them. All the Ajazera, all the BBC. Come. Let me show you that I am prepared to speak for Biafra people. And I will talk sensibly. I am going to tell you, give you reasons that you never thought of in your life. So, why do you kill somebody who is not a Muslim? Why do you kill somebody? Why do you even call it a blasphemy when the person does not know anything about your religion? But you found yourself in the same country. So when they say they killed Deborah for blasphemy, nobody is looking at the fact that Deborah was not a Muslim and she was killed. This is the reason why I will fight till Biafra come. And believe me, we are going to disintegrate Nigeria. You know, some people are contacting me that, oh, uh, can we stop using the word disintegrating? You know, it, it is a, a full and nay. The government are getting angry if you use the word disintegrate. I told the person, I rebook you. I rebook you. If it is not disintegration, what the hell am I doing? It is disintegration. We need to disintegrate this evil entity called Nigeria. We need to disintegrate them. And the word disintegration, the word disintegration must be preached. Because that is exactly what we are looking for. We are not looking for anything other than disintegration. So if you continue to be part of Nigeria, and you find yourself in the northern Nigeria, according to the law, according to the law, according to the Nigeria constitution, and according to the Islamic constitution, the Sharia law in the north, they say that if you commit crime in the north, you have the right to choose which law is applicable. Are you going to be tried under Sharia law? Or are you going to be tried under the Nigerian law? Under the common law system. The opportunity to choose which law applied to Deborah was not given. Do you understand it? Deborah was not given the opportunity to choose which law is applicable to if she, she wants to be tried. Is she going to be tried under Islamic law? which is not a Muslim, or is she going to be allowed to be tried under the Nigeria common law system? 
that opportunity was not given to her. She was killed. And we are here arguing about blasphemy. Oh, people should respect other people's religion. People should respect other people's religion. People should respect other people's this, other people's that. I want you to understand that this thing happening to uh, northern Nigeria, Christians in the northern Nigeria, this thing happening to Deborah, or this thing that happened to Deborah, you are not free from it. You are not free. They think they have monopoly of violence. And that is why I have told them today, the Biafras in the north, count the people that were killed in the bomb blast because Nigeria government planted it. I know that a lot of blunder have been committed. 